let's talk about why your desire hasn't manifested yet. So I get this very often from people that are in the process of manifesting a desire. They say, okay, I've tried for a very long time. I've tried a lot of techniques, but still my desire hasn't manifested yet. There is no movement. And most of the times, the problem is not that they miss something. The problem is not that there's like any, in a sense, missing key or a blind spot that they're not aware of. No, the problem, quote unquote, is most of the times that these people, they approach manifestation from the wrong premise. I want to explain it with you. And that is my first point. My first point is this. As long as you try to make something happen, as long as you're in the process of trying to get it, trying to make it done, you will delay your manifestation for a very, very long time. That is not the right premise, right? So most people approach it with the wrong premise because they say, my desire is fulfilled. I feel the relief, the wish fulfilled when it's manifested, when I see it out there, right? They live, um, they live after the paradigm, seeing is believing, right? So I see it and now I believe it. Now I feel the wish fulfilled. Um, when you approach it from this paradigm, you will wait forever. Why? I will explain it to you during this video. So the correct premise is that the wish fulfilled state, right? The feeling of the wish fulfilled, the feeling of naturalness, the it is done state, right? The knowing that it is done, that is available internally here and now. All right. Why? So your imagination, as you should know by now, puts you in touch with any desired state. Right? You can close your eyes, you can even do this with eyes open, and you can start to view the world from any different angle, from any different standpoint, from any different attitude, from any different state. Right? You can ask yourself, okay, how would I feel right now if I am this, if I've accomplished this? You can close your eyes and let your friends, family members, someone congratulate you on now having achieved a certain goal to imply that you are now in a new state. So you can shift states. That is something that I teach throughout my channel. That's the main teaching, of course, of Neville Goddard's teachings of the Law of Assumption. And the problem actually is this. Most people that have this, that, that ask themselves this question, like, why isn't my goal manifested yet? Why am I seeing no movement? Is that they use their internal world, their imagination, their awareness, and they use that as a fancy little gimmick, as a fancy little tool to produce results in the real reality. So they say, okay, I'm doing this within here, I'm doing this so that hopefully, very soon, in the near future, it happens, it shows up. That is where the problem lies. That is very subtle, oftentimes overlooked. That's why many people, of course, ask themselves this question. But if you get what I'm trying to tell you right now, you can solve it. So here's the thing. The wish fulfilled, right? So that is key. The wish fulfilled state, that is that happens internally. The manifestation is the consequence of the wish fulfilled. Let that sink in for a second, because I think many people hear it and they think, oh yeah, I heard this, or yeah, it makes sense, but let it let it actually sink in for a second right now as you're watching this video, as you're here with me, okay? The manifestation, the goal that you finally want to see in the world of your senses, that is a consequence, a byproduct, an echo, a shadow, a result of the wish fulfilled. What does that mean? That means, like I said here, the wish fulfilled happens internally. Your life can only show you what already is. And this is important. If your life can only show you what already is internally, if you're internally always in the mood and in the coming from the premise of I'm trying to make it happen, still not there yet. I need to do more. I need to try more. Let me get it soon. Let me do another technique. Although I tried various um, techniques, although already, then where do you stand with him? You stand within, it's not done yet, it's not there yet. I'm trying to, to make it happen soon out there. What can you expect the out there to reflect back to you? It will be more trying, it will be more of it is not here yet. If you understand that, um, that the mirror, and also like a physical mirror, can only show you what is. So it can only show you what already is. That means that first you need to internally, in your inner world, in your inner realm, and in your inner reality, you need to be in the wish fulfilled, it needs to be done for you. You need to feel wish fulfilled, you need to feel natural about your desire, and then your life, the mirror, can reflect that back to you. That is why so many people mess this up. And the amazing thing is that this wish fulfilled state is not somewhere out there, it's not somewhere at the distance, it's here and now available within you, no matter where you are. 
because in your internal world you have access to all states because your real being right is awareness which includes the finished creation which includes all possible states and you simply move through states you you dwell in certain states so the question is can you right now dwell in your wish for full state and make that natural and if that's too overwhelming again you can utilize any technique any method to make that shift easier right to nurture it more and more and maneuver back into it and dwell in it until it feels natural but the important thing is that you are whole you're complete everything is within you that's the main underlying teaching of Neville's Law of Assumption is that you are whole and abundant because every possible state, every state that you desire right now, every state that you will desire in the future is right now already contained within you. How does that feel for you? To know that you carry all possible states within you right now. It's your decision in which state you dwell. So you have to catch yourself when you dwell on unwanted states or on, on the opposite states and then you need to maneuver back in the wish fulfilled. And it's here and now. And how you can do that, again, one simple way to do that is to ask yourself, okay, what would I experience in my circumstances if I would already have manifested my goal, if that would already be present in my life, if I would already be this desired version of myself, what would imply that to me, right? So what would someone say? What would I do differently? What would I experience? What would I encounter? And then you can pick one of these imaginal acts, one that feels most natural, and you can start to bath yourself in that. But now here's the difference okay most people still they when they apply these techniques they do it to get something in the future we learned by now that the wish fulfilled is within you that is where the wish fulfilled happens that is why you feel the relief the knowingness that it is done the satisfaction right it is within you where you make it done basically it is within you where you encounter the wish fulfilled and then the world and like reflects back what you already have alive within yourself so fr from now on when you start to imagine a scene, when you go to the end, don't do it with the with the secret agenda of trying to make something happen. Because then you still go in, you just do it, and you open your eyes and then like you're like, okay, where is it? Has something changed yet? You're looking for results. Well, that's the wrong premise, right? That's you thinking, okay, finally your desire will be fulfilled when you see the manifestation. No, the desire is fulfilled when you internally encounter it as, as being fulfilled because your imagination is real. While you imagine that, while you feel into that, that is you dwelling in that unseen reality where you do already have it right now, right here. That's the wish fulfilled. That is where, again, the magic happens. Okay, so from now on, when you imagine, you imagine something that implies the wish fulfilled, but you imagine it not to make it happen. You imagine it to experience the wish fulfilled in the here and now, and you can open your eyes, and then you know it's already done. You know there is nothing more left for you to do. That was it. And then since you will no longer look for it, you will no longer wait for it, you will no longer doubt and worry where it is, then the mirror has actually room, the seed can actually grow, the mirror can actually start to reflect back what is now natural for you within. And if you, should you get triggered again, should you fall out of that state again, that is most likely even to happen, that's not a problem. But then you can maneuver back into it, alright? So if you wait, right, you will always get more waiting mirrored back to you. Because waiting, being in the internal attitude of I'm trying to make it happen, Soon it will hopefully happen. Soon it will hopefully happen. You're internally in the waiting mood. The mirror shows that back to you. If you're internally in the wish fulfilled, the mirror will show you back the wish fulfilled. That's why I said the manifestation, your goal being manifested in the world of senses is a consequence of the wish fulfilled that happens in you, in your imagination, in your awareness, in your internal reality. So if the external world is only the mirror, you have to be who you want to be now. You have to be in the feeling of having what you want to have, of being who you want to be here and now. So if you dwell long enough in the wish fulfilled, the desire fades away. These are This is the good news, right? because you are it. Therefore, you stop waiting and you won't care when it manifests. Right? These are people that say, oh, what if it, what, what if it takes uh, 10 years until I get my manifestation? You know, I tried so much. What if it takes me um, more? What if I need to try more? Bring ease into it. Again, these are the people that are in this constant working towards it, trying to force something into being, trying to make something happen. How can you make something happen that already is? You can only start to become aware of it, shift your awareness into that reality, shift your awareness into that state, dwell in it, make it natural, then it's done for you, and then that is what you get reflected back. And the good news is that once you are living internally in the wish fulfilled, you will stop waiting, you will stop doubting, you won't look for results, you won't... Um, 
really care when it manifests because it is already done for you. You've understood this, this mirror principle and that internally is your reality and externally shows you back what you have alive within yourself. So instead of trying very hard to make something happen or forcing anything into being, we want to focus right now on shifting into the state where it already is done. These are basically the people right, that approach it from the wrong premise that are in the problem-solving mode. So they see it's not there yet, they go more into, oh, how can I make it happen? What can I do more externally to get it quicker? How can I affirm more? What techniques can I apply more? Maybe I need to add five more techniques into my approach. No, you, you, you need no technique at all. Right? Techniques are only tools to help you embody a state and dwell back into it. It, it's simply, it can simply be letting all of these doubts and fears and worries be for a second, acknowledge them, let them be, don't identify with them, observe them, watch them, let them float by and then ask yourself again, how would I see the world? What would it feel right now if I would be in my desired state? Or you experience it imaginatively again. Because your imagination allows you to have experiences outside of your senses, which is the proof alone that you're more, that there is more than just your sense world. Because I can right now close my eyes and experience being on the beach in, I don't know, in Bali. So that fact alone means that there is something more to our being and not just what you see with your senses. So then dwell in the wish fulfilled again where it's natural, where you know it's already done. So shift instead of trying to solve problems. Shift instead of trying to um, force something or solve a problem that is right now present in your state. Let that be and go back to the end. So summarized, all right? Your external world is a mirror of your internal world. That should be like something you should know by now. If it's a mirror, well, where does all the magic take place? Where does all the shift take place? Within you, right? The mirror, like I said, can only confirm what you are now. It only has a confirming function. So it's not even to be fight against. It's not, the mirror is not the problem. If you see something you don't like, then not, not the mirror or the circumstances are the problem. There is no real problem if you think in states. That's just like an old state playing out and being reflected back. But if you internally go back to the desired state and dwell there, that is what eventually will be confirmed to you. In a delayed way, right? Never forget this, is that the mirror sometimes needs a little while to catch up where you stand within. Internally, the shift happens immediately. Internally, you can immediately be in the wish fulfilled, whereas externally, it takes a while for, you, for the mirror to basically orchestrate everything perfectly to show you back where you already stand within. And the mirror can't cause anything by itself. It's only reverberant. So don't fight against the mirror. And it won't lead to anything if you wait for results. Because like I always said, and said many times in this video, waiting leads to more waiting. If you ask yourself, why hasn't my goal manifested yet? Where is your awareness? By the way, where are you dwelling at when you, when you ask even this question? Why hasn't it manifested yet? What am I missing? What am I doing wrong? Why isn't it there yet? Become aware of that. You're dwelling right now and it is not there yet. You're not dwelling in the wish fulfilled state. Which is what you can... That this is only where you can really get the satisfaction and the relief from. If you dwell on doubts, worries, wondering, hoping, um, you move away again from the wish-fulfilled state. So, it can only show up if you are it within, right? It, not if, it, your desire can only show up if you are it already within. And if you are it within, then there is no waiting. In the moment you assume to be who you want to be, you are in the wish-fulfilled. So you can't wait and your world will mirror back the wish fulfilled, right? In the moment you feel into it, you are it. That's the key. In the moment you feel the wish fulfilled, that is where you are it. That is done. And then in its own timing, right, the bridge will unfold to mirror back where you stand within. So I hope that this makes sense, right? Let us go back to the first slide, which is as long as you try to make something happen, you will delay your manifestation. So I want you to keep this in your mind and please now Approach it with the correct premise and understand that your wish fulfilled, the state of having it, of being it, is here and now within you. Dwell in it. Utilize any technique that connects you with that. If you want help on how to make that shift and how to go from your current state to the desired state and no longer be in this limbo of back and forth and wavering between states, but finally, like, fully devoting yourself to the new state and dying to the old state, Check out the free masterclass. That's the first link in the description where I'm going to tell you how to shift, why many people, you know, are not able to do this. What are the most common mistakes? Next to this question, why hasn't it manifested yet? There are some more things that people, in a sense, fall for. And if at some point you really want my help, you want some accountability, you want to be surrounded by a private group of like-minded people that are extremely supportive, extremely helpful, 
extremely empowering. Then you can also apply to be part of my program if you want a structured system, support from me, coaching from me. Um, and we can find out in this free consultation call if we are a good fit to work together. Again, you will find both links for the free masterclass and for my program in the pinned comments and in the video description. And that's it. So I really want this to make sense. Okay, don't just think, oh yeah, nice, another manifestation video. No, again, if you ask, why hasn't manifested yet? It has been so long, it's not there yet. First of all, you're, what are you aware of right now? What are you imagining while you say this? You're imagining that it's not here, that it's not done. You think it's done once you see it out there. You operate from the premise of seeing is believing. But the premise is believing is seeing. You first believe it to be true, aka you first shift into the end state and make that natural and therefore the belief will grow and then your external world can mirror back to you. Then you will see it. But it first happened within and then without. So start to see your inner world as your reality and no longer constantly like take your cue from what is there. No longer get polluted by what is there right now and think you can only feel the wish fulfilled once your desire shows up. That's my message from this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you understood that, if that helped you, if you have any other questions so that I can cover this in future videos. I'll speak to you soon. Bye, guys.